Welcome back to the Lofts of Brian Fagan's YouTube channel. I'm Brian Fagan and today's topic is one that is particularly relevant. If you're going through a divorce in the state of Texas, we'll be discussing the ultimate question which is, is mediated settlement agreements still valid in Texas if a divorce case is dismissed? Before we get into the specifics, let's understand what a mediated settlement agreement is or an MSA. When a couple decides to get a divorce, they often find themselves dealing with a variety of issues such as property, division, child custody, spousal support, and more. To streamline the process and avoid prolonged litigation, many couples opt for mediation. During this process, a neutral party known as a mediator assists them in reaching a mutual agreement on these matters. The Mediated Settlement Agreement is essentially a legal document that includes all the decisions and compromises made during mediation. But what happens to this agreement if for some reason the divorce case gets dismissed? The Texas Family Code governs divorce proceedings and related matters, specifically Section 6.602, and addresses the validity of mediated settlement agreements in cases of divorce. The law emphasizes that if the parties have successfully reached a written MSA that adheres to certain legal requirements, the agreement remains enforceable even if the divorce case is later dismissed. Allow me to illustrate this concept with real-life scenario. Meet Anthony and Morgan. They're going through a divorce and have struggled with disagreements over property and custody arrangements for their children. They decide to pursue mediation, where they work with a mediator to create an MSA that outlines these crucial details. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, their divorce case is dismissed without prejudice. Anthony and Morgan are left wondering where their negotiated MSA still holds any weight. The answer is, in accordance with the law, yes. Their MSA remains valid and legally binding, provided it meets the necessary requirements. Now let's examine the key elements that render the mediated settlement agreement valid and enforceable. Number one, it's voluntary agreement. Both parties must be willing to voluntarily agree to the terms of the MSA. Number two, it's a written document. The MSA must be reduced to writing and signed by both parties or their authorized representatives. Number three is terms and conditions. The agreement should comprehensively detail all terms and conditions related to property division, child custody, support, and any other pertinent matters. Number four is mediator statement. The mediator who assisted in the negotiation must provide a statement confirming the voluntary nature of the party's participation and absence of coercion. Meeting these requirements ensures that the MSA remains valid, even if the divorce case is dismissed. The enforceability of the mediated settlement agreement holds importance for divorcing couples. By having a valid agreement in place, parties can sidestep the prolonged litigation process, saving themselves time, stress, and money. If either party fails to uphold their end of the agreement, the other party can seek legal remedies to enforce the terms, potentially avoiding further court proceedings. To sum it up, a mediated settlement agreement in Texas remains valid even if the case is dismissed as long as it aligns with the stipulations set forth in section 6.602 of the Texas Family Code. So if you're contemplating a path for resolving your divorce, remember a well-constructed MSA can offer you a solid foundation for a binding resolution. If you found this information to be helpful, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more insights into divorce and family law matters in Texas. Remember, for personalized legal advice, it's always best to consult with an experienced attorney. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in our next video. Thanks for tuning in to the end. 
We understand that divorce can be expensive depending on the situation. That's why we're offering our do-it-yourself Texas divorce e-course. You can get access to this e-course by clicking on the link in the description below. Catch you in the next video.